Well, I'm in my uh, favorite uh, Calypso bog today. Um, a little dif different kind of day than yesterday. Uh, we've got some partly cloudy skies and uh, temperatures are about the same, but uh, we've got a bit of a wind here, so uh, conditions are a little different. It's a little more pleasant to be out, actually. Um, fortunate to find a few today, not very many. In this particular place, there have been some years where I found up to two dozen. In other years, uh, half a dozen or so. So far today, I've found four. And two are blooming, two are pre-bloom. Um, and I'm guessing that uh, there'll probably be a few more around if I come back in four or five days and see them when they've opened up, they're a little easier to spot. Calypsos aren't um, plentiful in this part of the state. They are a fairly common um, orchid if you go a little further to the west of where we are, uh, over towards Bemidji in that area, Pennington Bog. I think there are probably a lot more than what you'd find here. I know some of the photos I've seen from that Pennington Bog area uh, will show you know, eight or ten or a dozen in a group. That very seldom happens here. I've seen uh, uh, a pair and sometimes three, but most of the time it's a single flower here or a single flower there. Today is May 18th, and I would think that this is probably right about in the middle of when they can typically uh, be expected to, to bloom. I've see, seen them as early as May 13th, and a few years ago, I didn't see my first one until, I believe it was May 22nd. So that's kind of the range as far as the first bloom is concerned. Two years ago, there were a lot of them. They bloomed early. We had a, a real mild winter and an early spring. And they stayed out for a long time. Two years ago was a great year for orchids altogether. There were uh, lots of them in places that I'd never seen orchids before. Last year was a different story. Um, they came out later. They didn't stay out as long. Two years ago, they, um, uh, Calypsos were out for almost three weeks. Last year, they were out for less than a week. So that varies from year to year as well. Uh, I would say, from what I've seen so far, we're probably kind of in the middle there someplace as far as this year is concerned. The ones that I saw that were open today, I don't think have been open very long. Um, and with at least a couple that I found that are not blooming yet, I would think that they're probably on the late end of what their typical period would be as to how long they'll stay blooming. Anybody's guess at this time. And we'll, uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that. As you can see, we're in a cedar bog, and it's a particular type of cedar bog. Um, 
cedars tend to be lowland cedars or highland cedars and these are definitely lowland cedars here. There's a lot of water. There's a, a lake uh, with some swamp around it uh, nearby. The water seeps into this area. And uh, we have a lot of pools that are throughout this area, pools of water with hummocks in between, uh, particularly where the um, cedars grow from. Now, I do understand that in some places, and again, maybe the Pennington bog would be a, um, an example of this, that they also grow in, in black spruce bogs that have a similar makeup where there are uh, water holes and hummocks. Now, as far as the flowers themselves are concerned, um, they like to be near those water holes, but they don't actually like to be uh, right in them or touching up against them. They like to keep their feet dry. So most of the time when you're going to find uh, calypsos, they're going to be uh, up on a, one of the hummocks in between the water holes. Now they also don't like to grow under brush. They need some open area. And so the one nice thing, even though they're small and sometimes hard to see, they do tend to sit on top of that hummock out in the open. So if you know what you're looking for, um, they're relatively easy to spot. One of the difficulties that uh, you have when you go out looking for orchids is that even though you've seen pictures of them in books and you've seen images of them on um, social media, you really don't know what you're looking for until you get out there and find one. One of the biggest problems is that uh, a lot of these orchids are quite small, a lot smaller than what you think they are. And so consequently, you're looking for something that's maybe 8 inches or 10 inches or a foot tall, when in actuality, you get something that's about 3 and a half inches tall. So uh, that's, that's one of the problems. Another problem is that uh, if you happen to be looking from the wrong direction, they're difficult to see. If you look from the side, you get the, the profile and some of the color, but if you're looking from the top, a lot of times they'll blend in with the background and you won't see them at all. Sometimes these orchids are called fairy slippers and it's easy to understand why when you see what type of enchanted forest they grow in. I hope you enjoyed our journey down into the cedar swamp today looking for fairy slippers. Uh, as time goes on here, we'll explore more places and more orchids. I took a little longer today because I wanted to kind of set things up and give you an idea of what to expect uh, as we go through this series. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and, and one thing to finish up with here. A day never gets completed without keeping a look at what might be ahead. On the edge of this uh, swamp, uh, there are a number of other orchids that grow. And this one I checked yesterday are small yellow lady slippers that will be blooming in about three or four weeks. So we'll be back here and take a peek at them then. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy.